Welcome back. A major blow to Prince Harry today in a judgment by the High Court. He's lost his challenge against the Home Office for the decision to lower or rather remove the standard security that he gets as a member of the royal family. You'll remember back in February 2020, there was a decision that his security would be decided on an ongoing ad hoc basis, on a case by case basis. And so he raised several challenges to that. He also raised a separate challenge, which you'll remember I covered, where he wanted to pay for it himself. And then because that was refused, he applied for judicial review of that decision as well, which was refused separately to this case. But this case has ruled um, that, say hello to the floof, by the way, she's just behind me here. Um, this case today has ruled that this decision was neither irrational, it was not unfair, there was no procedural unfairness or impropriety, and if there were, the, the court would not be able to grant the relief that he would seek from that. And there's a really strange bit. Um, I've covered this in quite some detail, which I put up on screen on my Black Bell Barrister video, which I'll link in the description below. But, but there's a really strange bit about this case in that Prince Harry argued or seem to argue that Ravik, the decision-making body for these uh, security provisions, seem to argue that they didn't consider the impact that a successful attack upon him might have, both for him, the reputation of the UK, and so on. And obviously made reference to uh, the way that his mum, the late Princess Diana, passed away uh, being chased by paparazzi in, in the car. Um, but the judge didn't agree with that. The judge said it would be bizarre to think that the very experienced chair of Ravik would not have considered that. And so this perhaps is an insight really into what is triggering all of these lawsuits. He's obviously very troubled by past events and very troubled by how he and his family might be affected by such things. And that has obviously come to be part of his legal proceedings against the Home Office to challenge these decisions. But ultimately, the judge has not agreed with that. Ultimately, the judge has ruled that this decision was not unlawful, was not unfair, was not irrational. There was no procedural unfairness. And even if there were, the court couldn't grant the relief that he might seek, which would be to overturn or change that decision or at least revert it back, which is one of the options through a judicial review to revert the decision back to the decision maker to consider something else or not to consider certain things that they shouldn't have considered and so on. And it's a very complex process, but none of those things the, the judge was in favour of. So the, And so the judge has ruled against Prince Harry in this case. So I've gone through a little bit more detail about the original decision, the original decision letter from Ravik uh, and all of that in my Black Belt Barrister video. So um, this was an update I thought I'd bring you to here on Black Belt Secrets. Please do subscribe here as well. Um, what do I think about this decision? Well, I'm hardly surprised by it because Ravik will have obviously considered all of the uh, rationale and the security implications and the risk factors. Obviously, I mean, it goes without saying they would have considered these things. It's quite frankly a risable suggestion that they would not have considered such things. And the decision that the security would be decided on a case-by-case -case basis going forward because they don't know when Prince Harry is coming and going and they don't know the extent of his personal private security in wherever he is, where he's in Canada or the US and when he's coming back and what other security provisions he might be putting in place. And so a case by case basis would seem, not that I'm a leading security expert by any means. And so a decision on a case by case basis and analysis on a case by case basis certainly seems perfectly rational and reasonable to me. And to put those security provisions in place as they go along, as they see fit, would seem perfectly sensible. So I'm not surprised by the judgment, uh, but apparently, uh, as I read in the news, Harry is uh, planning to appeal this to the Court of Appeal. So it's not over yet. But there is also the costs element, because so far, having lost this challenge, 
uh, there will be cost implications and further cost implications if he goes on to appeal. Uh, so we'll look at those again in more detail. Uh, but for now, that is what the courts ruled today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, whether you are surprised at all by this decision. And as always, do please do remember to subscribe and uh, I thank you for watching. And I know many of you have been asking to see the floof again. Uh, she's just eaten, so she is obviously taking five, aren't you? And you'll probably go down without much of a fight. So the floof says hi. And she's just about to take a rest. So have a great evening, everybody. And we and the floof will see you soon.